In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option, coming to you courtesy of Immaculata Productions. I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like our work, you might care to hit the subscribe button. Chuck us a few quid on Patreon or PayPal. Uh, make a constructive comment in the comment section. Always keep us in your prayers. God bless you. The priesthood. Hmm. Ha! One of my favourite topics. The priesthood. One of the most undignified, and there are many, one of the most undignified sites in the Catholic Church these days is the site of priests scrambling desperately to hide behind committees. Uh-huh. So I, I just want to say something that will be crystal clear on this subject. There is no substitute for the priesthood. So those people who want to somehow get rid of the priesthood or dissolve it in the, in, in the acid of corporate management can just find another religion. There are many, you know, and uh, you, can, you can find another one to wreck. The priesthood is constitutive to the church. Read Vatican II, much quoted, rarely read. Eh? Read the documents of Vatican II. The priesthood is constitutive to the church. It doesn't say committee work. Now you can say, oh, by implication, sure, collaboration, all that. Absolutely. No problem. My problem isn't the priest taking advice from committees. My problem is where the priest hands over the sacred office that he was given when he was ordained to a committee who have neither brief nor standing in the matter. They are advisory. That's my problem. So the idea that the priesthood can be replaced by committees is ridiculous. The committee is basically, how would you put it? The committee in a parish in which there is no priest is like the steward of Gondor. Yeah, it's better if he doesn't get it into his head that he's anything else. The committee runs the place until a priest is reappointed. That is, they, it, and it runs it administratively. Sacramentally, it can't. I, I, I think there are a whole load of people in the church who want to be Protestants. I have the height of time for Protestants. Uh, and and, if, and if, Catholic, if there are Catholics who want to be Protestants, then fair play, lads. Okay? Fair play. We'll make up a packed lunch for you for the journey. Okay? We'll even throw in a bottle of Dodgy in my waddy. Off you go. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue being Catholics. Priest-ridden Catholics. You hear this? Priest-ridden. Because that's what we are. Yeah? We'll hold on to the gaudy images. Right? We'll hold on to the gaudy images and the priestcraft. And you lot can go off and be very zen somewhere else. Right? New men couldn't stand committees. Jordan Peterson's very interested on this because he talks about the Pareto distribution. You know, there are only so many people on a committee who do any work. Did you know that? That's been, all, that's been known anecdotally forever. It's only a fraction of people on most committees do any work. In fact, they do all the work. And this reproduces again and again. There's no substitute for the priesthood. The, the, the lack of availability of priests. The fact that vocations are not being heard in this culture and are not being answered 
is one of the great tragedies along with abortion in modern culture. And it is practically on a par with it. That we have human beings who are not allowed to live their lives by the intentional action of other human beings is itself a terrible thing. That we have human beings who live a crippled, truncated, amputated, spiritually amputated life, often without knowing it, because they have been prevented by the culture from hearing their vocation is a terrible thing. It is starving the church and it is doing a terrible injustice to the people who have the vocations. I've said it before, if you're called to the priesthood, you have my sympathies. But there is nothing else you can be and nothing else you can do that will be authentic if this is what God intends you to do. And he does not intend you to be a committee. If you're the kind of person who keeps hearing voices, perhaps you should have help with that. Yeah? We, we believe in the Blessed Trinity. We don't believe that the parish priest should be a sort of management version of the Blessed Trinity where we're dealing, instead of dealing with the priest, we're dealing with five or six people that we don't meet or see. No, 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 no. The priesthood is, it is indispensable. The priest is Alter Christus. He is, the, he is another Christ. He is, the, he, he is sacramentally Christ. Now, this, this cannot be other. So this notion that, oh, well, you know, now the laity will come into its own because we don't have enough priests. No. Now the laity will limp along and keep the thing more or less afloat until we get the other indispensable element that we need. In, because the laity are indispensable. And the other element is the priesthood. These, these parish committees are advisory. And by their nature, where they're operating in the absence of a priest, they're provisional. And that's the stark truth. Now, uh, I'm sorry to those of you who see a bright new dawn coming, broad sunlit uplands of corporate decision making and all the rest of it. But the leopard doesn't change his spots. And as soon as it possibly can, the church will get back to good, healthy, priest-ridden Catholicism. There you have it. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>